longevityarts.com. This is Nikola Tesla. And apparently she loves the straight sword too. You gotta click the like button for Tesla. She's so cute. She's a rescued pit bull. Look, pit bulls aren't vicious, they're so loving. It's straight sword today, guys. Let's start the show. In Chinese, we call this a jian. J-I-A-N, jian. And this is just a cheap practice sword. So I recommend if you wanna get a Chinese straight sword to practice with, don't go all out and buy an expensive one. Buy just like a 20 to $40 sword or less. If you can find a $10 wooden sword, that's great. eBay, Amazon, are great sources, but if you want to go to buykungfu.com, it's a great source. Brendan Lai Supply in California is a good source. Or um, if you're international outside of the US, again, just eBay, Amazon, things like that. Maybe even that uh, Chinese site called Alibaba. and see if alibaba.com can help you out. So when I first got the straight sword, I was a teenager, and I felt like I was going to be embarking on a journey of ancient proportions and that's kind of what you got to think about when you do the straight sword. So it's got two edges, heaven and earth. You hold it like a tennis racket and you want to have the heaven side facing the heaven and the earth side facing the earth. The sharp tip is called the sovereign, the handle is called the master, and then the bottom we call it the base sovereign. Usually there'd be a tassel hanging from the sword if I was going to do a demonstration or a teach a seminar, but tonight I'm just uh, in my backyard at about midnight. And so it's the witching hour, so no tassel. Let's get started. Want you guys take this sword and put it in your hand this way. So it's upside down in your palm. And put one finger out with the hand holding on to the master. And then put the sword behind you and the tip, the sovereign of the sword should come somewhere up by your ear. And that's when you know the length is appropriate. And so we wanna have a lot of self physical discipline but also mental focus and kind of Tai Chi-like relaxation during all straight sword practice. Because the straight sword is supposed to be a weapon of a master and a weapon of somebody who's been practicing for 30 years. So we wanna have this good self-discipline, regality, but still compassion and humility at the same time. And so the straight sword should be a weapon that trains both. I want you guys to stand like this. Take your other hand and put it in sword fingers with the thumb and the fingers touching. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now circle these hands by the sides, left foot step out and grab the sword here. From this position, capture the, the master, the handle, lift your leg, cut out to the side here. My knee is up. Pull the weapon across your body and thrust out here. From this position, we cut back, cat stance here, and my sword fingers by my hand. Then from here, I deflect somebody's sword, cut down here to bow. From this position, block my head, cut down and reverse bow, one, then circle the sword around, cut past Tesla, come up to reverse bow, and down again to reverse bow this way. Then from here, I move to forward bow stance, and flip the sword up like I'm flicking water droplets off of it. Circle cut somebody and slice them open as I drag back and pivot. Block up, turn, cut down to reverse bow again. From this position I go to cat stance, cut underneath, deflect, boom, hack somebody, and then parry somebody to the left. Parry somebody to the right. Deflect circle, Thrust underneath this way, and then cross step block, cross step cut, cross step block. Jump off your right foot and down to right cat, then slice up to left cat. So after you're in your cat stance, I want you guys to lift the foot, we call it dragon step, and deflect to the left. Then one cut with the sword, but yet two steps with your feet. So watch, I go right, left, cross behind. From here, I'm gonna cut somebody horizontal across the neck, turn to horse stance, and then pow, thrust out to the sides. Take my left foot in and pull the sword to my dantian. Then lift the leg and thrust up this way. After this position, I turn to the left and I thrust down into like a 
turned in, we call it like a monkey stance, like a rusted stance. Then deflect in front of your body, tap to cat, cross behind, cut this person, spin, deflect this person, and thrust up into a nice cross stance. From here, I'm gonna go one, two, jump through and cut down, block and cut up this way and pointing toward my wrist. Then front thrust snap kick. Up this way, again, front snap kick. From here, I'm going to deflect around, thrust over my head, turn to cat stance, slice them in front. Cut it back this way. My hip, return the sword to my left hand and the original position. And as I stand up straight, reach in and out, in and down. The speed that I just did this should be the speed that all of you go until you've got it mentally without having to think too hard about it. And so there's different stages to learning a form or a Tao Lu or a Kata. And stage one is memorization. You want to just get the form memorized, have fun, enjoy yourself, and just let the form be something that is like adult playtime. It should be fun, right? You're kind of partaking in an ancient art form that wasn't created by you or me, it was created by ancient Chinese people a thousand years ago. So um, it's supposed to be fun. Let's do it once in full speed so you guys can see how it looks fluid and full speed. And it's up to you to watch this video again, like it for us, share it with your friends, comment down below. Um, let's see who out there can put the actual Chinese symbols for Jian in the comments for me so everybody else can see it. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow for Fighting Fridays.